Hey everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to model this sheet metal part together. And let's start then. We are opening a new part document, and in the front, a sketch. My dimensions will be uh, 120 by 50 millimeters on both sides and I am going to add another tool flange on the corners you see like this instead of mirroring now I choose a way like this and I am adding now with control buttons and choosing the lines some equations this uh, line will be in the middle of the my uh, origin uh, dimension for this is 25 and this flange will be uh, 17 50 millimeter. Uh, we are going to it make it extrude by sheet metal 120 millimeter. And this was my outer dimensions. Uh, then we are going to change our uh, sheet metal direction in and 3 millimeter thick by 2 millimeter radius. I'm going to bend this. These are not exact values according to the customer, uh, our provider uh, bending tools. It can be changed, but uh, yeah, now 100 millimeters. We are making an extrude here, and I have a flange behind, and I'm going to first arrange it. And uh, we are choosing an eight edge flange command, and till this point, I am making extrude, and. I'm going to close these corners by the corners close corners command uh, by choosing the two surfaces so it's automatically understanding and uh, I want this area to open uh, I am not choosing the narrow, narrow corner uh, option uh, just clicking as you see automatically my area is uh, closed the same going to be here you can of course change the uh, row which is going to be bent uh, the over on it by these options here you know and I gave 0.1 millimeter gap now by surface uh, first I'm going to measure the uh, length of this dimension 1.9 millimeter and I'm going to use with surfaces to uh, bring my face next to corner I am just choosing faces of my flanges here and here also I am choosing my uh, surfaces and dimension 1.9 millimeter as you see automatically it is now on the surface and there is 0.1 millimeter uh, gap and uh, let's give our uh, outer radiuses yeah, here also and we are going to create here one cutout by choosing two flange corner I convert the lines and I also convert this line and my cutout will be 30 mm and I just make offset as you see without using any sketch I uh, use the corners and I convert entities on, and I offset them the easy way and there will be 2 times 10 uh, radius here and now we are cutting it it is done as you see uh, there is a two corner more which will should be filtered now I, I made one fillet before the extrude cut and then I can change the row now extrude cut is first then fillet and now I can add it and add two uh, corner again for radius here instead of opening one more time there sketch and uh, one more time uh, fillet comment here also we are going to use same option and 
converting the corners this corner going to be converted and this corner also going to be converted and now uh, uh, 25 millimeter uh, uh, dimension and offset more and we are cleaning again unnecessary sketch objects and the two time 10 millimeter radius here and we are again cutting and I have one more cutout here I'm going to edit just by editing sketch sometimes I'm using this methods uh, methods to show you also possibilities in SOLIDWORKS sometimes I'm forgetting the objects and just editing the object instead of just making a new uh, addition there and this gap will be 20 mm and this gap will be 35 we are changing and now I'm going to add 5 mm radius on all corners and now we are going to close and automatically my part is cut it as you see we are going to cut uh, the side uh, uh, area and now I have one line and a little bit going up and turning back my cor corner with my mouse automatically my uh, program gave me one uh, arc there and I close the area and I determine the uh, dimensions this is 40 millimeter this is going to be 30 millimeter this is a 20 millimeter arc and we are going to choose this three uh, point to be horizontal and uh, this will be 27 millimeter we are not going to cut the flange there uh, and uh, sorry 28 let's make not necessary it's just a model and here one 10 millimeter radius on it and I have also here some cutouts I'm going to arrange them also here will be 25 millimeter diameter say 25 and I am adding both sides 5 millimeter diameters which is going to be 35 divided by 2 and just choosing two line and making mirror sorry uh, this is going to be mirrored this is my mirror uh, line and this is going to be from front 70 millimeter from down 25 millimeter uh, okay now we are ready to cut everything uh, through all I'm choosing option and all my parts now cut it we are going to add two radius here which is 12 millimeter and radius is here 5 millimeter now we are going to add here our another flange for that reason now we should open unfold our body to understand how much millimeter we are going to make I choose the fixed face and then bands to unfold collect all, uh, all bands I choose option and now my sheet metal part is open and we are here making a new sketch from the center of this part don't draw good, sorry and here uh, 18 millimeter and we are going to say is 20 millimeter and this is 20 sorry this was 
25 mil 25 millimeter and we choose our uh, tool line and construction line and symmetric option and this my this is going to be my area which is going to be cut it and also I'm going to add inside one radius here As you see tangent 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 option and we are deleting unnecessary part uh, now again dimension and this will be area and because of the laser beam uh, diameter I wanna offset uh, one millimeter inside and then uh, to cut the length will be added on the corner will be uh, this 24 millimeter we can add here on the corner uh, now we should make this also constant and now mirror side and now we are uh, cutting uh, main body will be the other will go uh, now we are going to fold back again our body and now uh, I'm coming to the surface uh, and opening here one sketch and first uh, as always construction line and then one line and I came back line and automatically I took arc and I closed the all counter I choose 3 by just passing by and make symmetric will be here 1 millimeter and we know that just before we measure this area this is 24 millimeter and on there 1 10 diameter part when I'm coming sheet metal base flange tap automatically my values is same and merge result and uh, with right plane I'm going to mirror this object features mirror I'm coming and tap make mirror to other side as you see everything done it is simple I hope it will be uh, useful to understand how the sheet metal uh, commons is working and how we quickly reach the result this can be done with many different maze ways maybe they are going to be take uh, simpler than this or longer than this I don't know but this is my way how to work with that uh, thank you for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe and like it